Hello everybody, my name is Clayton Coots with the Body of Christ Street Ministries located in Fort Payne, Alabama. And the video you're fixing to see next is about obeying the Lord and what He tells you to do. It was a lesson learned this day. Uh, earlier in the day, there was a gentleman stopped by and gave us a generous contribution to our street ministries. Uh, he said that the Lord had spoke to him when he was pumping gas across the road and told him to give us this money. So probably no more than 30 minutes to maybe an hour later, there was this lady she stopped in and she was going through some hardships and she was re really down and out. So we you know, went to pray for her and stuff and the Lord spoke to me and, and told me to give her a portion of this money. Uh, so she received a blessing from this and, and we did too. We, we learned something from this. So if you would, please share this video with your friends and family. Click the subscribe button below to the YouTube channel. Y'all have a blessed evening. I came to that point myself of November of 2014, and I mean, I, I fell on my face, man. I, for God, you know, and he, he delivered me out of my depression and alcoholism and lots of other things that was going on in my life. Let's just say a prayer over her. What's your name? Sherry. Sherry. Father, I thank you for sending Sherry. Father, you know her needs. Father, I know that you love her more than anything in this world. Father, I ask of you that you will meet her needs, provide her with a job, housing, because all, all of the things of this earth, you own this stuff. It is not ours, it is yours. Father, right now I ask it of you that your spirit of peace and comfort will fall upon her, that she will know right now, Father, that you love her, I ask it of you in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Father. Sweet Holy Spirit, right now. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, show her your love. Thank you. I hate your holy name, Father. Lord, that you may receive the glory. I offer you, Father. God bless you. And I, I was just told to do that. I, I can't do that. Yes, you can. I can't. That would be so wrong. It's not no, wrong. Not when the Lord tells oh, someone to do it. do it. I was just I told to get. I was just told to hand this to you. It's wrong. That's it is so not wrong. The Lord. Why I came here. I I, hey, listen. There, there's a gentleman just stopped by a while ago and, and gave me a bunch of money, and it's not my money. It's God's money. We don't do this for money, ma'am. Please, God please take to this. You, you have to do what God tells you to do. I feel so wrong. It's not wrong. It's it's for, this it's isn't from even from God. A, It's from God, absolutely. That's what I was fixing to say. I thought I was going to have to tell me. No, this has nothing to do with money, ma'am. But God, but God. We don't have, we, ah, yes, he did. He, he just told me to give this to you. God knows please, you were please. coming by. That's why that man came by and gave him Ab So that I could give to you. To you. <laughs> absolutely. I tell you what, I, I pray over this money. I, I tell you what, I will anoint this money right now, Father, with your Holy Spirit that you will multiply. Oh my goodness, you will multiply this money in her hands and will take care of her needs. All for your glory, God. Oh, I thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you.
that is anointed money and it's going to go a lot further than what's there. I promise you. Touch that money. You're going to feel something. Yes. God's seen it straight. Touch it. Grab that. See what you feel. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I bind that and I command it to loose her right now in Jesus' name. Go right now. Indecision, unbelief, doubt, fear. Go right now in Jesus' name. You have no right being here. Go. That, please, ma'am, it is yours. It's not our money. We didn't, we didn't know that guy was going to stop giving it to Had us. no we clue. Didn't know why. I told him it's not about money, and he said I knew that. He gave that so we can give to you. God loves you. No one hates you. Trust me, we love you. need to contact us for anything, there's ways of getting a hold of us. God uses people. That's how He gets things accomplished. If you trust in God, He will make a way. When you say there's no way, yes. He will make a way. Even when you don't think there's a way, there is a way. It's God's promises to us. I had a brand new house. I had a husband. I had a child. Now I don't have anything. But you're but probably you know happier what? now than you've ever been. I am. Absolutely. And then everything else will fall in place, little by little. Now, it won't happen just like that all at once. But you trust in the Lord, and He will provide you. And you'll know. You'll know when things happen because yes, it'll be out of the ordinary. And you're like, wow, how Amen. did that happen? That's right. And you'll know that it is the Lord doing it. That's why Absolutely. We are. We're drawn to do it for, for you. People. We've had things happen to us, and we know what it's like. And we do love you. Don't you feel like people hate you, that is a lie of the devil. That is the lie of the devil. Absolute lie, because he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah. So if people say and they hate you, that is not them, it is the devil that is controlling their lives that is coming against you. The Father loves you more than anything. So much so that he sent his son to die. He gave his only son for us. That's a great love. All in your lap. And you never know. Just walk by. God will be the one to Yep. No, nothing happens by chance. Nothing. The best thing to do is get your prayer calls and spend some time with you and the Lord. That's right. Everything will work out. Every day, spend time with Him. Every day. Lord, I give everything to you. Yes. Ask Him to take those feelings that you're feeling away. Just scream it out. Just yes. let it all out. Just talk to God. That's what builds your relationship with the Lord is the prayer. It is going to be all right.